Uh, Kevin Mahan says, I've changed so much evaporator coils on ream equipment. It's ridiculous. I've changed a few ream evaporators myself. There's been a lot of, I don't know if I, if I think back to every evaporator I've ever changed, there's quite a few of them. And probably the one that shares the, the lion's share of the evaporators would be Goodman, just because I actually installed a lot of Goodman units early on. But I, I changed a lot of Goodmans. In fact, I can I can spot them out of a lineup, the evaporator coils, pretty easily. You usually have 10 evaporator coils, and they all have their particular look, the way the baffle plates are, the way they brace up some of the tubing, the way they sleeve the capillary tubes. I can usually tell a Goodman from about a mile away. The aluminum ones, the copper ones, so many Goodman leaks over the years, but it just wasn't Goodman. Of course, it was everybody. A lot of carrier leaks. I've done quite a few carriers. Slant coil leaks. Uh, rub outs on the capillary tubes. Quite a bit of those on Goodman. But then that's sort of like, that happens to everybody, though, I think. And some of that's accidental. Like when you set a piece of equipment, you should probably just make sure that your capillary tubes aren't heading for disaster when you have like a metering device or you have your TXVs and you see all of them bunched up and kind of rubbing, like they're going to start sawing into each other. Just go ahead and separate them a little bit, something like that. Uh, all coils leak, especially with 410A. Yeah, there's plenty of coils leaking out there, aluminum and copper. What's your thoughts on aluminum coil, says Red Mist? I mean, aluminum coil, I think the overall opinion of aluminum coil is that it's going to leak less because of the material it's made out of is not as susceptible to leaking in the same way that copper was. But I've seen quite a few aluminum coils leak as well. Train Hyperion air handlers or the equivalent American standard forefront air handler, which I think is the same forefront air handlers, like the little plastic refrigerators. A lot of those were leaking early on. Some Goodman coils were leaking early on. I think they avoided most of that forma carry issue though, switching to aluminum but aluminum doesn't transfer heat as well, so it's like a catch-22. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.